everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make a water rainbow at home using common household items. And by doing this, we're going to learn a little bit about density. So to make this experiment, we're going to need some sugar or salt, as well as some food coloring, a jug, a spoon and glasses of warm water. And so into our glasses of warm water, we're going to put in different amounts of sugar to vary the density of the water. OK, so into the first glass, we add four teaspoons of sugar. Into the second glass, we add two teaspoons of sugar. And into the final glass, we add no sugar at all. So with this, we will know that this water will contain the most amount of sugar and will be the most dense. This will be a kind of middle, uh, middle amount of dense and this will be the least dense. So if we were to stack these waters on top of each other right now, we would see that this one would be on the bottom, followed by this one, followed by this one. However, we're not able to see that very easily. So what we're going to do is add some food dye to this to make the process a bit easier to see. So into the glass with the most amount of dissolved sugar, we put in our first colour. Our second colour. And our final colour. Now whatever colours you have at home are perfectly fine, but I find it best to use three different colours that look very distinct when placed next to each other. So we're going to give these a bit of a stir to make sure all the food dye is mixed in properly and give it a wipe each time and that all the sugar is dissolved fully. And what I'm going to do next is show you how we're going to stack the water. So we're going to get our jug and our spoon. Now, the only reason I have a teaspoon with a long handle is because I have a very tall, skinny glass. This would probably be easier at home if you have maybe a short glass or a very wide glass, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the spoon just like so, just below the surface of the water, which is the meniscus, which is, for, which is a curve in the water you can see here caused by surface tension. So we're gonna remember, place the spoon just below it and we're gonna pour our other solutions very gently and aiming just for the tip of the spoon here, okay? So, we're, this is our most dense solution. So we're going to pour our red solution in here. And then we're gonna mix them. So, place your spoon down and then very, very gently begin to pour. Okay, so as you can see, we have our very dense green liquid down here and our uh, liquid of a medium density here with the red. And after we've done that step, we go and we wash our equipment. So we make sure the jug is well washed and we get our blue solution here that contains no sugar at all and put that into the jug and then repeat the process. So, spoon just below and very gently pour.
So as you can see, we have three different layers. We have red, green, and blue. So the green layer will stay at the bottom as it has the most amount of sugar in it, so it's the most dense water. The red layer will stay in the middle and the lightest layer of blue will stay on top because this contains no sugar at all. And even if we were to give this glass a little shake and stir it around a bit, we can see the three different layers still stay distinct. They don't mix with each other. So now you will know how to make a rainbow in the glass using what you've learned today about density. Thanks for watching.